Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Computer Doctor Show. While I am on my way to my first call, I thought I would just make this uh, video and talk a little bit about off-site printing and uh, uh, running an office even if you are in the in different offices, how you can intercommunicate with your team uh, through technology even if you're not working in the same physical office. Now this uh, has come up uh, more recently because uh, today in uh, April 2020, where we're supposedly coming out of the uh, coronavirus pandemic, uh, there's a new normal that is going to be, uh, that, that is going to emerge uh, out of uh, all of this. Uh, many companies that were very, very accustomed to working in an office environment are now going to be more virtual more workers from home because they've now been forced to do it and now that they've probably invested in this technology to actually get it done and to actually move forward with it most of uh, there's going to be a lot of companies that are just going to continue with it if they can because it's more desirable for employees um, theoretically and uh, more desirable for companies because of the uh, uh, safe space of brick and mortar uh, office space. So uh, if, if there is a team that is uh, working independently or virtually, uh, there are some things that some companies just want to do still on paper. When you're working virtually, the idea is, is that the entire environment is paperless but that's not always possible, okay? Um, well, it can be in, in some respects, but uh, this is what, uh, what kind of prompted this video. My father gave me a phone call yesterday, uh, last night, we were on the phone for a little while, and uh, he's actually an accountant in New York City, and uh, he's been working virtually. Now, the, the company that he works for, they still like to send out checks, so, as the accountant and the bookkeeper, I guess, that he is, he generates the check on his computer, but he has to somehow send the check to, uh, to someone on the board so that they can physically sign it and then mail it out. So his question to me is, how can he generate a check and have it printed someplace else uh, for it to be signed? So now... That, that was the question. So this can actually be done in a number of ways. Uh, the first way, uh, and, and the most easiest way, the, the first question I asked him was, uh, what kind of accounting software are they using? So he said something about using QuickBooks and this other, um, this other software called RISC or RISC or something like that. And uh, between the two softwares, uh, uh, that, that's how they um, do their uh, accounting. So uh, I told them, you know, <clears throat> with this pandemic, I'm sure that QuickBooks has some sort of solution. So, so that you as the bookkeeper or accountant on one end can generate something for it to be looked at or viewed or printed by somebody else. If you're using the QuickBooks online feature, um, I know something similar could also happen if you're using the desktop version. Uh, the installed version on the computer, I'm pretty sure you can do something along those same lines on the installed version as well. So you would just need to make a phone call to QuickBooks. They can explain to you how you can generate a check and then have that um, viewed or printed by somebody else. And of course, they would need to have the check stock in the printer on the other end, print out the check, sign it, and then mail it off to whomever is getting it. Okay, so that's one way to do it through the uh, through the system. Now, um, if the recipient, if, if you're an accountant and you're and the recipient is not very uh, tech savvy, or they have not used the software before, uh, what you can do is you can schedule a, a screen share. Uh, appointment and you can do a screen share using all kinds of different programs uh, zoom has a screen share Skype has a screen share uh, Microsoft uh, has a screen share within the Windows environment but it's very very difficult to deal with 
Uh, it's, a, it's actually pretty advanced. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I use a software called AnyDesk. Any, I've been using AnyDesk for a number of years. Uh, uh, I, I used TeamViewer prior to that, but TeamViewer started getting a little antsy with their free uh, with, with their free use, and they've been chopping off uh, sessions if you're on there too long. AnyDesk uh, seems to be free, completely free, 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 free. I think that's the new lingo, right? So it is, it is completely free. You can sign on, download the software, and it's actually pretty secure. You can't, it just doesn't allow people access to your computer. They have to have a special code and you actually have to push a button to allow them to, to come in as most uh, services uh, have that feature. It's a security feature and any desk has it. So what you can do is you can set up a, uh, a meeting, a, vir a virtual meeting with uh, the person who's uh, going to be signing the checks. You can go into their computer take control of their computer, move their mouse around, log them into a QuickBooks or, or, or whatever your accounting software is, and print the checks on their computer on their printer, uh, even though you're still sitting at your house because you're, being sh you're sharing it uh, in that fashion. Now, of course, now that's the second way. So again, the first way is to do it through, the first way is to do it through the accounting software. The second way is to, to do it through uh, some sort of screen sharing uh, software. Uh, and of course, the third way is to do it old school, and that is to print it out yourself, uh, uh, put it in a FedEx envelope, send it off to, <laughs> uh, off to the person who's gonna sign it. They open it up, take the checks out, sign it, and then resend it out to whomever it goes to, okay? So if your operation or your office wants to still deal with uh, physical checks, uh, those are the three ways that I recommend. Now there's all other different types of ways. There's, uh, there's electronic signature. Um, uh, the powers that be can authorize their signature to be authorized over the phone, and a digital signature can be put on that. Or, you know, if, if you ever get for example, if you ever get a, for example, the stimulus checks that we're getting from the government, okay? There's a secretary of the state signature that's on there. I'm pretty sure he did not sign every single one by hand, okay? He signed one place, someplace, and it was, it was captured and redone on all the checks uh, automatically. So if you're running, if you're doing a lot of checks and you still want to do it physically, um, that is an authorized way. Banks do accept that, obviously. Um, but if anything ever comes into question, the banks will always um, uh, flag it and then uh, bring it into question if there's ever a problem. Hope that answers some questions. So uh, let me know if how you're doing with this uh, coronavirus effect and how it has changed the way you transfer documents within your business. Thank you very much for your time. Computer Doctor of Tucson, for your computer needs, call me at 520-261-5508. Thank you for being on my first morning drive here, and I bid you a good day.